So what if I was positioned with the request, the removal operation 75? Now, 75 happens to be a root node. You notice that there are no children going on after 75. So we're simply going to apply sort of a similar rule that we saw up above, well, a little bit. So the idea is this is still my n. And if that n is a leaf node, if it's still a leaf node, we splay it to root, splay to root, then remove n. So in this case, we see that we have that 75. So just like we've done in the past, one of the things we notice is that we have a zigzag approach again happening here. I happen to have uh, an x, I have, happen to have a y, I happen to have a z, and z to y, y right child, y to x, right child. So I would follow the same approach that I've done in the past. This would go from being uh, z, y, x, with the necessary trees everywhere, to x, y, z. So in our example here of 35, 50, 75, again, we would splay 75 to the top, 50 being y, and z being 30, or yes, 30. And then we see that just like we saw when I was dealing with just a root, I remove n. So in our case, we would remove n, and we're left with the tree 50 with 30 as a child.